My name is Belinda Davis. I'm a research scientist here at Kings Park and I work on orchid conservation. Today we're talking about uh, Caledonia leucochyla, which are these plants here. These particular plants will be going out into the garden in a couple of days time to be part of our first orchid display in the conservation gardens. So this is Caledonia leucochyla, it's also known as the collie spider orchid. It's one of our threatened spider orchids. It's found around the collie area, just east of collie. At the moment it's known from about 800 individuals um, in a very restricted area so it occurs in Jarrah Forest on the valley slopes associated with seasonal wetlands. Kings Park uh, is in a really unique position in that we can step in when we have threatened plants that uh, really need that sort of science background um, to help with their conservation. So orchids in particular fall into this category because of their unique interactions uh, both underground with their fungal partner, which they require for germination, and also for their often a one-to-one -one relationship with their pollinator. So when we're looking at restoring an orchid to a site, we're looking at making sure that both that above ground and below ground interactions are intact. When we're looking at uh, bringing an orchid species back from extinction or for propagation purposes, we go out into the wild and we will hand pollinate the plants um, and collect the seed. And so the seed comes back in this very tiny vial. Orchids have the smallest seed of any plant in the world. Um, and in this vial I'm holding, it has one plant's worth of seed and there's an estimated 30,000 seeds in this little vial. Apart from the seed that we collect, we also collect the fungi from the orchid. The fungi grows in association with the plant just underground and so we remove it from the plant and then culture it up on a petri dish. So this has agar, which is a bit like a jelly, um, with the right nutrients that we need. Uh, to grow the fungi. Once we have the fungi growing, we introduce the seed and fungi together, grow them in the dark for six weeks, and then we bring them into the light, and then we start to get some of the seedlings that you can see growing on the plate here. And so these will grow up um, a little bit more, and then we will put them into essentially a humidity crib for orchids as we try to step them through the process from laboratory into soil in the glass house. By seeing these orchids we would love the public, well one just to see the species itself, um, it's actually really hard to see in the wild because all of the populations occur on private property or, or leasehold. So it's a unique opportunity to see something that you wouldn't otherwise see. And with a little work that we really can bring a species back from the edge of extinction and that there are conservation solutions for some of our rarest and most challenging species. We've just finished planting the Caledonia leucochyla in the conservation garden today. Really happy with how they've gone in and cannot wait to see them flowering in spring. Caledonia Leucochyla is a really great example of emergence from extinction and Kings Park Science is really proud to be involved in the conservation of this species.